Okay, so this is just an overview of the triage panel, and so over here on the left hand side is the call history, and this shows in green, calls out to people, or calls out to people that have been cancelled halfway through, if for instance they've not answered. Um, in red, if there's been an incoming call that's been missed, that's highlighted very obviously, and for instance an outgoing call in the blue there. Go up here is the contacts. Now this shows you all your contacts that you've got going on. So if they're in blue, that means they're online. If that's grey, that means they're not currently turned on. And then the indicators down here tell you a bit more. So green is available. The yellow queue means they're in a queue. Or a red telephone means they're in a call with someone. This panel here is the panel that you use to select someone you're going to call and you can then dial. Over on this side, you've got consultations in the in the area. So these are members of staff. So if someone is flagged as a member of staff here, they'll appear on this list. And then you can see what status. So these two are in a call, and this one has someone waiting in a queue for them. And the numbers down the side here tell you how long they've been in the state. Over here is my own waiting room. So I've got someone waiting in a queue for me and there's no one calling in for my special group. And the other thing up here is obviously my local view, so I can see what's going on with myself before I call someone. And that's it. Okay, so this is an incoming call. So the hood's coming in from, shows the picture, and you can hear it ringing up both the speakers and the headphones. And answering the call is just hit the green button. Hi Alex, that's fantastic, thank you very much, and to hang up, we're just going to hang up. Okay, so we're going to give uh, one of the patients a call, and let them let the call go through. Hi Alex, so I'm just going to put you into a local queue here, so bear with me. And that's the user going to the queue, and you can see here now they're waiting and they're queued up. If I need to get them back again, we can just call them. And reconnect and chat to them again. Hi Alex. Thank you very much, I'm going to say goodbye again. Bye bye. Okay, so we're going to transfer a call onto another user. So first I'm going to give the patient a call. Hi Alex, so I'm just going to transfer you onto Dr. Apple. So bear with me. So once we're in the call, I can select another user, which will then appear in this bottom area, and I can then transfer the call into their queue. So the call has ended, and they've now transferred into the doctor's queue. I can then retrieve them out of that queue by basically selecting them and dialing them back. Here's just dialing. Alex, you still well? Fantastic. Okay, and the other option we can do with the queue is I can select a person and instead of putting them into the queue, I can actually ring them through directly. And that's now ringing. You can see at the far end, Dr. Ball is chatting to the patient. And that's that. Okay, so the first thing we do is we're going to make a call. So I'm going to go and select the user we're going to talk to, bring them up in the middle panel, and then hit dial. And it's ringing. And hi, Alex. Excellent, that's looking okay to me. You're not looking very poorly at all today. You're looking quite a good shape. Fantastic. And that's really all there is to making a call. So, thanks Alex, I'll speak to you later. Okay, so on this one we're going to make a call back to the patient again. Hi Alex. So this time I'm just going to zoom in on you and have a closer look at your face. So what we're doing is we're just tapping in the centre of the screen and we can zoom in and if we want to go across to the sides 
or up a little bit. We can zoom and see a bit more closely about what Alex is doing. And that's really much all there is to zooming. We're going to come back out. We can zoom back out again, back to our default position. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so this is just an overview of the triage panel. And so over here on the left hand side is the call history. And this shows in green, calls out to people, or calls out to people that have been cancelled halfway through, if for instance they've not answered. Um, in red, if there's been an incoming call that's been missed, that's highlighted very obviously. And for instance, an outgoing call in the blue there. Go up here is the contacts. Now this shows you all your contacts that you've got going on. So if they're in blue, that means they're online. If that's grey, that means they're not currently turned on. And then the indicators down here tell you a bit more. So green is available. The yellow queue means they're in a queue. Or a red telephone means they're in a call with someone. This panel here is the panel that you use to select someone you're going to call and you can then dial. Over on this side you've got consultations in the in the area. So these are members of staff, so if someone is flagged as a member of staff here they'll appear on this list. And then you can see what status, so these two are in a call and this one has someone waiting in a queue for them. And the numbers down the side here tell you how long they've been in the state. Over here is my own waiting room, so I've got someone waiting in a queue for me and there's no one calling in for my special group. And the other thing up here is obviously my local view so I can see what's going on with myself before I call someone. And that's it.